All right. Here is the best build for Rama. Rama is the squishiest character in the game, but she is a fantastic DPS character and she can be played to a tremendous extent on highest difficulty even. I'm playing Legion Lair on maximum difficulty at the moment, like I'm doing with every character in the game that I'm doing the build for. And I can tell you that I was surprised how efficient Rama is, although it is hard to keep her alive in open spaces as long as there is a cover, I think you can be fine. Let's get on with the build. Let's cover the gadgets and upgrade course now. Let's start with upgrade course. Three things that you can purchase for her are these. Slayer of Ravana that accelerates the cooldown of Rama's special ability and grants bonus special ability damage when she is the active agent and her mayhem is ready. So you don't have to use your mayhem all the time because you'll do more damage with your special ability. Rama fires two plague arrows when she uses her mayhem ability, a very good one because that plague arrow is very very good very powerful ability using rama smoke screen ability also creates damage over time effect at her location considering that rama does increase damage to enemies that have a debuff that's a really good ability when you're running away and then putting damage over time on, on your opponents the three skills for your special ability are death trap panic trap and Paral paralysis trap death trap and panic trap are both Fantastic, equally great I would say, but Panic Trap does inflict panic on the enemies in an area of effect, which makes them useless and not a threat to you at all. And you can still do more damage to them because you will do more damage to enemies that have a debuff on them. That's why these two are good. And the third one is Crap. The Paralysis one, don't use it. Immobilize is one of the weakest debuffs in the game. So don't go for that one. The Death Trap does more damage than Panic Trap, but I think you can equalize that with uh, the debuff and the damage increase versus debuff targets. For the weapon skill I went with Target Array because Rama is pure DPS character and the more damage you do, the better. You get more critical hit damage bonus by 25%. That's huge. If uncharged... Rama's arrow disperses its energy throughout, blah, 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 causing damage over time. There's the aftershock assembly, not needed at all. This small device helps Rama charge up her arrows 20% faster, but reduce her range. I think the target array is the best one. Although these two have their merits, definitely target array gives you the most DPS. The last one I'm using Rama's bridge. Whenever you get a critical hit which means last hit is in enemy's weak point, you will heal yourself up slightly and your squad mates as well. You don't have to go for this one. I think all three of these are great and equally useful. So it's up to you what you prefer really. Chariot will grants you haste whenever your shields are depleted and your shields are almost non-existent. So they will get depleted when someone even looks at you. Haste will make your life a lot easier, most definitely. And the Neural Catalyst extends the duration of Rama's damage over time by 50%. That means from the Mayhem ability that play Gero and from any kind of damage over time that you're doing with your other abilities. So I think all three are good. It's up to you what you want. The preferred squad members would be Kingpin because of his special ability Refresh. You're really dependent on your special ability and mayhem. That's why we are using Kingpin. The second one is Oni. Oni because of his 20% weak point damage. All of the shots that we are doing, we are aiming for enemies' weak points. And the damage is great. But it will be even greater with Oni's plus 20% weak point. If you don't want Oni's 20% bonus, you can go for Hollywood. That will give you mayhem faster. Now to the most fun part and that's the fighting part. Here you can see how I'm playing Rama. I'm really careful. I'm constantly using stealth because 
If you're not, you're going to be dead in an instant. As the squishiest character, you cannot make a tiniest mistake with her. With some of the other characters that have larger, larger shields, like Oni, for example, you can make a mistake and you might be able to survive on highest difficulty. With Rama, no chance. Someone looks at you, you lose your shields and at least half of your health. And that's for normal enemies. If there's a bigger enemy, you're down. Mobility is a key here and the thing you can do constantly that will make you a hard target to hit is constantly go left and right. Go left and right, charge your arrow and shoot at the bastard's heads. So left and right, left and right and also backwards because you want to go constantly out of the melee range, you're useless in melee. For some reason enemies have a lot of issues when you're going left and right. They have trouble targeting you. Your special ability needs to be used whenever you can. In this instant I'm using Panic Trap. You can use your Death Trap or Panic Trap, whatever you want. The thing is, it will be off the cooldown really fast and it's really a powerful ability and your go-to move. So don't be afraid to use it even on a single enemy if you have to. That way you will load up your Mayhem bar and Mayhem is one of the best Mayhems in the game, especially when you're up against a spawning group of enemies that are just about to go into the battle. Then you pop that arrow right beneath their feet, then there's an AoE cloud that will also continuously go over from person to person and they will explode in suffering and pain. Which means you will do a lot of damage. And that's what Rama is. Just watch this footage. You'll see how I dealt with groups of enemies and nasty enemies. I didn't have any issues mostly because of the panic trap. Since when the enemy is in panic mode they are completely harmless. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. I like playing Rama a lot. She's a special character, one of the toughest to play, but so goddamn rewarding. Don't forget to check out our Vidmi channel. It's in the description. Please follow us there. We need more followers on that platform. Because once in future, when going gets even tougher on YouTube, we might be forced to switch there. There's some really good things that you haven't seen on RPG Division at all. So please check it out and see you guys soon. Thank you all for the support. Security team is currently approaching. Do not allow mayhem to win. Nearby security team inbound. been called to the area.
Sticking with mayhem will be terminated immediately. Security personnel inbound. Security has been called to the area. You brought this upon yourself. Legion troops, do not give in to the enemy. Yeah. Bonus for any trooper who kills a member of Mayhem. Mm -hmm. 